Hey, my name is Chelsea. I am 16 years old and I'm from Idaho. I am currently in Braunschweig, Germany, and I have been here around two months. So the story on that was I was here with my family in June, also came here for my sister's birthday, and then we took a Europe trip. That was boring, wasn't it? That was going nowhere. Hey, I'm Chelsea. I've been here for about two months and I take this cactus, it's actually an aloe vera plant, with me on every train. It has been a rough month for cactus. But that's not why I'm here. I am super fortunate to have been asked to take over the Ami Kinda YouTube page. Yay! So a little bit of background on myself. I was invited to live with the family I am staying with now in the seventh grade when we hosted my sister, Louisa. But I really didn't know any German. Because in the States, we don't learn languages until like ninth or 10th grade. And then in my science class in eighth grade, we have a substitute. Hey there, how's it going? I'm Dick Stones. And I'm really bad at science. I have a question. Yeah, what can I help you with? What's an element? Oh, this is science, huh? We're in science class. Oh, too bad this isn't German. I could really teach you something there. <gasps> but one of the first things that I learned upon my arrival is just that it's really hard to be prepared. But then I quickly learned that attitude is the largest obstacle you are going to face on your exchange. In most cases. And really the only thing you can control is yourself. Flexibility. Actually not like that. Can really make your exchange enjoyable. Like, you just spent 11 hours on a plane. You're dizzy. You better bet you're tired. And then your host family says, let's ride a roller coaster. And then you're like, super exchange student. Dun, 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 dun. I'd love to. Because trust me, if you were going to step out every time you were really exhausted and mentally not up to it, you wouldn't have the best story to tell. So my last bit of advice for the day is that even if it tastes good, you should still chew. Because really everything here tastes good. So keep your chin up, because it's all a matter of perception, and chew your food. Thanks for watching. One thing, if any of you guys in the States know someone who would like to host an exchange student for a year, we still have a few without homes. So in the next week, if they don't have homes, then they just don't have an exchange. So if you, have, if you know anybody, please leave a comment. Thank you. Until next time.